During the 15th century AD, an idea called heliocentrism claimed the sun, not the earth, was at the center of the universe. This horrified Christian clergy who felt it contradicted the word of God. If God created earth and man in his own image, then earth and its devout inhabitants must be the center of everything. Ironically, the champion of a sun-centered universe was a devout church deacon from Frombork, Poland, named Nicholas Copernicus. He was a cathedral administrator, working to help collect the rents, helping people who were sick. But in between, he was working on astronomy. Copernicus was troubled by Ptolemy's complex heavenly mechanics. But he found an elegant solution. When he moved the Earth from the center of the solar system, and replaced it with the sun at the heart of it all. When Copernicus put the planets going around the sun, he discovered that the planet Mercury, which goes around in about three months, automatically fell closest to the sun. And Saturn, the slowest planet, which goes around in about 30 years, automatically fell at the outside edge. Copernicus wrote, in no other way do we find such a sure harmonious connection between the size of the orbit and its period. That seemed almost magical. Copernicus also insisted that the Earth was rotating, that it spun completely around on an axis every 24 hours. The heavens didn't move. We did. Stars chasing across the sky each night were merely an illusion created by the rotating Earth. Likely afraid of church reprisals, Copernicus withheld publishing his theory until he was on his deathbed in 1543. But his book, Concerning the Revolutions of the Celestial Orbs, paved the way for Johannes Kepler, born in 1571, the champion of observational science.